Business names can be divided in several types, but legally, based on distinctiveness, following classifications are more commonly used in most countries, such as USA, UK, European Union, Australia, and Canada. Fanciful brand names include the business names coined by combining random letters or arrangement of letters and numerals. Fanciful brand names have no meaning. Examples of fanciful brand names include Axon, Verizon, Pepsi, Kodak, Instagram, Serco, Ikea, Dozero, Vivendi, and Casco. Next type of business names is arbitrary names. These business names generally consist of dictionary words. However, the nature of products or services offered is irrelevant to the meaning. For example, Apple is a registered arbitrary brand name for selling computers. In other words, the name is used in meaningless context in relation to the products or services of the company. It would be considered generic with no legal protection in case the company literally starts selling apples. Shell is another example of arbitrary business name because Shell company sells gasoline, not shells. Anthem is a health insurance company in USA. It does not create musical songs. Therefore, it is an example of arbitrary business name. Solar Winds is another example of arbitrary business name. It is an American company which deals in IT and software development. It has nothing to do with solar, wind power or any energy related business. Generator is another example of arbitrary business name. The company does not sell power producing generators. It is a lodging company having hostels in multiple locations around the world. Next in the list comes the suggestive types of business names. Such business names suggest and allude but not clearly tell about the nature of products or services the company sells. One can understand about the type of company products through a guesswork after getting suggestive hints from the company name. For example, Airbus is a suggestive business name. Another example is KitchenAid, the kitchen appliance manufacturer, because one can allude or guess that it would be about kitchen related products. Right Aid is a US pharma company and another example of a suggestive business name. Next in the list comes the descriptive types of business names. Such business name not only suggests the nature of company products but goes one step further that it immediately and easily describes what the company offers as services or products. Descriptive word marks are generally not protected against infringement cases unless the names has gained some acquired distinctiveness such as United Airlines, Global Payments, American Airlines, Hotels.com, Booking.com, etc. The last type of business name is the generic one. Generic names are generally not allowed to be registered as protected marks. Generic word marks become excessively popular and lose distinctiveness. Courts and international treaties may also declare some brand names as generic. For example, Aspirin, Laser, Robot. In USA legal framework, a generic name can be any word achieving no distinctiveness. For example, Car, Booking, Hotel, Travel, etc. For example, in January 2021, USPTO decided that Apple Inc. cannot register the term Smart Keyboard because it is generic term for an advanced keyboard. According to USPTO, fanciful and suggestive brand names are the strongest type of business names which are relatively easier to protect against any attempt of infringement. On the other hand, Descriptive and generic names are weak marks. We can conclude that we should prefer fanciful brand names for our business such as Instagram, Dozero, Kodak, Vivendi. 
यू कैन लर्न मोर अबाउट चूजिंग अ राइट बिजनेस नेम इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाई डोजरो गाइस आई एम इरफान हयात फाउंडर ऑफ डोजरो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो कंसीडर लाइकिंग इट एंड फॉलोइंग आवर सोशल मीडिया पेजेस यू मे आल्सो लुक इन टू डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो फॉर सम यूजफुल लिंक्स यू विल लर्न हेयर एवरीथिंग अबाउट ई बिजनेस दैट्स इट फॉर मी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम